What's going on, my low riders? I love y'all. So, as you can see, we got a special guest here today on our channel. And it's my beautiful, beautiful sister. Oh, wow, that was so sweet. What's up, y'all? What's up, low riders? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm on this channel today. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is my sister, Beja. For those who don't know, if you don't, now you know that I ain't gonna play that. Huh? Period. Period. Okay. Yeah. For real. That's what I do. So today we are just gonna do a little sister tag. You know, we drinking our wine. We got our wine and our wine glasses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we got the questions already pulled up. We's ready. We are prepared today. Yes. And so I'ma start it. I'ma kick it off. Very easy. Simple. I'ma do a two in one because the first one kind of easy. Mm -hmm. So who is the older, younger sibling? I'm the baby. I am the oldest. I am 24 and I'm 26. We are two years apart. Yes. We love each other so much. We do. Period. Right. And so then I'm gonna do, I told y'all two and one. My next one is, what do I like most about my sibling? I just really love how- I thought you were supposed to ask me what I like about you. No, it's a sister Oh, oh like, I got it, I got it. And then you're gonna say what you like most about me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, what do I like most about my sister? So what do you like? Um, <laughs> I love that, uh, first I love having an older sibling, period. Um, she's just really like my diary, the apple of my eye, like just everything to me. I can call her. I don't even like talking to people. And I'm going to answer the phone for my sister. That's I really right. don't like talking on the phone. I talk to my sister on the phone. That's right. Like, I love her so much. I would do anything for her. It makes me want to cry when I think about how much, like, if I could pull the stars out of the sky, I'd do it for her. Like, oh. that's how much, like, that's my favorite thing about just her being my sister is that she's mine. That's like so sweet. Oh, it is? <laughs> Well, my favorite thing about you is that, well, one, I feel like, I feel the same way. Like, I feel like you're my diary, too. Like, I talk to you about a lot of stuff that I don't talk to people about, and I talk a lot. So, the fact that I haven't ever really, like, it's like certain, it's like stuff that only you know that no one else knows about me. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but, I also feel like my favorite thing about you is just, like, how you're always very, like, just firm on like what you believe and how you feel like you don't really waver like if you feel away about something even if i be like well i don't really think that's right like i think you always stand firm and like what you believe in who you are and i really admire that because like i can be swayed sometimes but i feel like once you feel away about something or once you believe something it's very hard to make you not believe it i also really love your work just this is just things i love about you like your work ethic I think that you work really hard. I think people don't know how hard you really work to like have a career and have like just certain things that you have. I think people just kind of like, oh, like that's, you know, like the internet. Not yeah. like people who know us, but the internet. I think they just kind of go, like, oh, like that's Beja's sister or whatever. But people don't really know how hard you work. But I think really just your loyalty and like the way that you love me are probably my favorite things. Like it's like a real true like little sister type of like like really I've always felt like kind of like she could be like the big sister because like she's so protective of me and very like you know she don't like when people like fuck with me but um those are like my favorite thing what annoys you about your sibling mm -hmm. okay what annoys me about my sibling is like or about my sister is like when she gets in those little like funky moods I'm like mm. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what y'all talking about. What? I'm gonna do this. Yeah. Like, when you start being like that, I'm like, oh, like, here she go with stupid ass shit. Like, I just hate this so much. But, I mean, it doesn't, it's not like I really hate it. It just be getting on my nerves. I'm just like, girl, it's just like, like, why we just can't chill and have a good time? But, like, once you start feeling like something is like, alright, like, I don't know. I ain't wanna go. Like, yeah. I ain't gonna be here. Blah, blah, blah. You know? Yeah. Y'all no, call me. Okay. What annoys me about you the most? Um, when you don't, like how you said I like to stand on shit, when you don't, when you just be like in limbo about shit. Like, girl, if you don't let them people know that, kiss your ass. Yeah. 
I don't really like to burn bridges. It ain't I about burning burn no bridges. It's about standing up and then let them folks know, hmm, don't play with you. Nah. <laughs> yeah, because I don't I, like. Yeah, it's kind of. And kinda, that's with anybody. I ain't gonna fuck. Tell them folks to kiss your ass if it ain't like if it ain't right. You get what I'm saying? Everybody don't gotta kiss your ass, but the people that need to kiss your ass, you be too nice to them. Yeah. Tell. Them. Yeah, I am really nice. I really feel like I'm the nice one. I'm, I'm nice one. too, though. But you know that's just how. I'm really nice. I'm real nice. Like I, 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 I'm real nice. A I'm, nice, I'm, 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 <laughs> a nice person ain't gotta say it. Okay. How often do we argue? We don't argue often. Yeah. Uh, we used to though, y'all. When we was little, yeah. it was like, oh, it was real it was bad. bad. It like, was bad. We will, I feel like we will, as as kids growing up, we would fight a lot. So yeah, I think that's what it was. Like we would, we would argue, but we would fight, fight a lot. Like two little rascals. Like that's bad. Like you know, like, when you watch cartoons and it just be the big circle of like when people be fighting. Yes, and just that was arms us, and legs and feet bro. popping out of this little dust dust ball. Thing. Yeah, that was us. Like, like that was us for sure. But I mean, but I also feel like too that's like a normal part of like just having a sibling, sibling yeah. growing up. Like y'all gonna fight, but yeah. And then we two years apart, like. We, it would be like, so it would just be like the smallest little thing could just set this bitch off. No, <laughs> <laughs> for real, like, and I was like a little terror too. So, woo. what do you feel you and your sibling have in common? Um, okay, I feel like our personalities when we get angry are similar. Like, once we really like hit the lid, like, it's kind of just there yeah like i mean i think we have similar interests you know but i kind of feel like growing up like you know i feel like you were always really like outgoing and like super like like just outgoing and i was always really shy mm -hmm. and like reserved like i feel like you were cool you were like a social butterfly and i wasn't really that way yeah like growing up and i feel like you used to like dance a lot like really into like i was into music in a different way but i feel like you were into music like where you wanted to dance perform like show up stuff like that me i just you like wanted music. to be in the background yeah yeah i want to be on the stage singing the music yeah i think that um we do have we like to watch tv together yeah and that's one thing we do like to do yeah we'll do that we like to watch TV and talk about TikToks and yeah. shows. That's one thing we really we really like watching like crime stuff. Though. Mm -hmm. That's a big thing in common. We yeah, have, like we love watching true crime. crime. Oh my goodness, true it's crime. like obsessive. Yeah, we just watch like, like three, three episodes, yeah, three or four back. true crime like episodes and just different stuff. Like just talking about like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we're like, I mean, we can't yeah. believe. Pulling up the people, pulling up the where they was at, the at high, the high school, school they were said just a big ass high school. Like, you know, just little stuff like that. Yeah. Like we, we we like stuff like that. We love each other so much. We like it's it. like obsessive. We love each other. Oh. Um, what's your sister's biggest talent? Well, I think her obvious biggest talent, okay. of course, is that she can sing, right? But I think she has a few hidden talents that you guys don't know about. Oh, one, this girl is like a dictionary and she's like a tape recorder. So I definitely think acting should be somewhere like I know she doesn't want to be an actress, but like she always says she thinks she should play Diana Ross <laughs> if they ever do a bio. That's the only role I would try out for y'all, for real. Like I feel like we look alike though. Yeah. That's more so, so why I feel like that. She watches, like we watch shows together and we watch movies. She can tell me the whole movie, the whole clip, and act it just like the people. Yeah. I think that's a really funny hidden talent that she has. Yeah. As well as this girl literally should be like a freaking literature professor oh, she's wow. so dang on smart like oh, the you. vocabulary the intelligence impeccable oh wow well thanks for that because you're I welcome feel, you know because i feel like that's true too i think your biggest talent like i mean what people are like your maybe a hidden talent mm. that people don't know that you have i would say it's like i can sing <laughs> <laughs> Learning. Okay. Okay. Honest. That's what you're saying. You know, yeah. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. I don't think that you can't sing. I think that you just gotta work on that ear. <laughs> Cause sometimes, like you do stuff, I don't think you hear it, but I hear it. And it doesn't sound good. 
but you don't hear it. So that's what I'm saying. If you worked on your ear, you really could do like big things. Okay, but. <laughs> You can really do big things if you are. Okay, so I feel like a talent that people might not know that you have is like, you're actually really athletic. I think people like kind of knew that, but like they were, oh, she cheers, but like, no, out the womb, like this girl's like flipping around and jumping around and doing this and doing that. I'm like, what is wrong with this kid? Like, who is this little girl to be fucking around? monkey. Home? But, because <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, she is flipping around all over the place. I mean, this girl flipping off the bed, <laughs> flipping down the stairs, flip, like just flipping everywhere. I think you've always been really, really athletic. And I don't think people really know that you really are funny for real. Like a but comedian. You, yeah, but you be dead for real though. Yeah. Like me and Abby was just talking about that. Like, Everything is so funny. She was like, your sister just texted me. She said, you want to know something <laughs> funny? <laughs> and I thought she thought that was yeah, funny. She, yeah, she it's was like, girl, I was going to her back and be like, what, girl? She was like, my mom left me at the gas station. <laughs> she was like, girl, what? <laughs> but the fact that she was able to run and catch up with the car, like, that's no, what I'm saying about all, athletic. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, yeah, my mom left me. Baby, you might be so funny. That girl said that's what I say about athletic. Like, you ran and chased the car, you caught up. I did. Yeah. Like, like, she really got left. That was kind of crazy. Almost, almost got left. Almost, she got almost. back in the car, but she legit almost got left. I wasn't there. That was coming to get me from school. But this she day. normally don't be in the car this day, but today she was in the car. My mama forgot that my sister was with her and pulled off from the gas station. And my sister was like, and then when me and mommy was talking about it, I said, "Ma, it's so funny to me because you was like 32. <laughs> so like, just imagine that. Like, she was getting the car line. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, she was like, yeah, I'm finna go get my teenager from school. That's right. At big 32. Like, big girl, big please. Big 32. <laughs> That's how she felt. That's how she was feeling. Now we're running it like a track star. She's not running. Up she's car. a track star. She looking at me. Girl. She said, "My baby." <laughs> this is a good one. Okay. What's your favorite in shot inside joke that you share? I think when we be like, whatever. <laughs> like I think you would really have to have grown up with us <laughs> to really that. understand like why we're <laughs> saying that. But basically. <laughs> Our big, our insiders, like our dad. Okay, so our dad is really like nonchalant about everything. Like, if you argue with this man or get into a <laughs> disagreement with him, he's like, whatever. whatever. Like, you do like, not no know. Big like, deal. Yeah, he doesn't care. So, we always kind of like say that. Like, if we're talking about something, <laughs> like, it could be something super serious. Like, if we're talking about like an argument with a guy too, it's like, like, whatever. Like, and then we both just start dying laughing. You want to know what I think when I hope you remember. Uh -huh. I think one of the funniest sight like, inside of, oh, she was like, Bri on that live. <laughs> oh yeah, she's like, y'all, uh, she's like, you funny, you funny as fuck, Bri Bri. <laughs> and we would be saying that, yeah, like, like funny fuck, you funny as fuck, Bri Bri. Mm -hmm. Like, why would you be saying that on live, girl? What? I actually, I actually be saying that to people that don't get it. They don't. That's like, I think that's why it's so funny. Yeah, you get it. Like I say that to people all the time. They're yeah. like, "What are you talking about? Who's a Brie Brie?" Yeah, people don't be knowing. Well, what we be talking mm, about? But it's that went like over a, your head. It's like a us thing. Yeah, you're my. It's sister. not a y'all thing. It's a us. It's an us thing. We're sisters, so we're gonna ask like two more questions, and we're gonna wrap this up. Ooh, ooh, um, ooh, this ooh. is a quick one who reads more. She does. She more. loves to read. But the funny thing is, is that you mm -hmm. actually did more school. So yeah, I read. I was gonna say you read, but I'll she'll actually, read a book though. Yeah. She'll sit there and just read a book, like or like an article or something, like, and I see that interests me. Or something. Like she'll read a whole like book. She'll go, oh yeah, I heard this book was good. I'm gonna read it. Yep. Yeah, I don't care how good I heard the book is. I'm gonna read the article in the book because I summarized this motherfucker. Yeah. Not me though. Yeah. If you got a call that your sibling was in jail, what would be the first crime that comes to mind? Oh, I would think that I would think that maybe you got into a fight 
and hurt somebody. <laughs> okay, that's like, a good that's one. what I would think. That's a really good one. I'll be like, dang, okay, like she might have took it a little too far, but I'm on the way. I know that's right. Um, I would think that like it literally would have to be something so minor because you're <laughs> such a good person, like. <laughs> Oh, maybe she was like out somewhere and she was driving a little erratic, like maybe kept hitting the brake, driving too slow, really. <laughs> they pull her over and like she had two drinks and so now they're like, oh, she's drunk. Like that would be a type of situation. She wouldn't yeah. even be drunk, but like she would be over the limit. I'd be like, well, okay. She does nothing wrong. So like, I don't really it's know. It's kind of weird though. It's kind of crazy because I feel like I, I feel like that's definitely something that would happen or like just being with another group, some, being with like my other friends yeah and they just like, something absolutely out of the what like when you get the call you like what like i think you'd be shocked to hear i was in jail actually oh i would be like i don't believe it like y'all gonna have to show me a picture of her i'm <laughs> like girl come the fuck on and get me <laughs> these folks ain't calling even no reason yeah i think y'all yeah and your okay y'all so the next one this is our last one it is it is what is your funniest childhood memory of your sibling wow 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 i have such a few really because i'm the oldest i remember i feel like i remember more but my funniest childhood memory i would say it wasn't it wasn't funny then but i think now i can laugh at it not gonna like that because you might laugh too well, laugh what is it? okay so Lori's used to be in gymnastics and she had this gymnastics like competition thing that we had went to and like they had um you were on the balance beam and <laughs> I know they had like hit the buzzer like <laughs> and, and like you like fell off i felt so well the camera had went dead in the middle of her answer but okay so like i said we was at this competition for her gymnastics and Basically, she was on the balance beam, and so they hit this buzzer, and it was like, eh, and like she like fell off the thing, and everybody in the crowd was like, oh, yeah. And, and I remember, like. yeah, and I remember it being like so serious at the time. But like, I think what made it funny to me now, looking back, is like because our parents were so upset. Yeah. They was like, she can't. It was like she can't try again. They can't. Like her whole team was trying to like, oh, did she go again? Like her coach, and everything was like, did she go again? They're like, no. Nope. Nope, and I just remember being like, damn, this is terrible. We done came all the way to Myrtle Beach. We and did. that was like the last like thing it too. Was. Like, and I was doing so good. I was in first place. I came in third. All oh, stinkles. But you placed. I did. You want to know my funniest of you when we were children? Please. Sir. When we was out of town in LA and you was writing them people, the hotel <laughs> was real terrible. And you was writing on them people notepad. She was like, yeah, decor horrible. Oh. <laughs> 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 she, I was told like, them folks, she was like, I think you guys should use a new bed set. It's really ugly. I here. told them folks they need to change the, the curtains, the <laughs> drapes, all types of shit. I was in there going in on the room, like on the little review. I'm like eight years old. Like, it's and, like But nobody asked for it. No review. one asked. It was like just a note. Well, they technically did ask because it was a notepad in the room. So they obviously, it was like, what, would we, what can we improve about your stay? But you weren't staying at the hotel. They were not asking. I was there for all of an hour and it went right. <laughs> I think that's like right. one of the funniest things because y'all, again, she was such a like quiet child. So when we leave it at the hotel room, I, my mama and my auntie, they like trying to get us because we already done made a whole shit show. Yeah. They look at, they try, looking at the notepad. They don't see they just writing on the <laughs> notepad. <laughs> Curtains ugly. New decor. <laughs> I'm like, new decor. Y'all need to hey, all do everything, man. That's how I was feeling. But she I mean, hated it. but you know what? I feel like we've had a lot of good, funny moments together, like as kids, so. that we could, like, really just, we could make a whole video just about our memories. I think so. But, um, I mean, I think that, like, it's been fun to, yeah. like, grow up with you and, like, continue to grow up with you and you know watch you just turn into this little like woman even though it's like i'm not that far apart from you it's like i feel like when i hit certain milestones like when i was 18 you were still 16 you know like yeah. so i feel like we kind of always hit like pivotal ages together yeah so i think that's been like pretty cool to do i think so too i will say to wrap this up 
I love my sister very much. I'm not going to play about her. Everything she do, I'm ten toes behind it. So, if she don't like you, and she really don't like you. <laughs> the worst way, you yeah? know? So, you know, that is a wrap of me and my sister. I will, of course, be doing way more content with her. Yes. So, go over to her channel and view her videos. Yes. And also, watch our Finish the Lyrics video that we shot. It's That's actually right. pretty funny. It is. So, yes, y'all, we're going to do more um, vlogs and stuff. Like, we hang out often, so uh, we're going to yeah. show y'all, you know, like, our little one two. What happens when we hang out? Yeah, we like to get lady like a snitty. <laughs> yeah, so, if you enjoyed our sister tag, let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell notification, and get on over to my sister channel, right, Raja Rodriguez, and, and tap into her content. Period. Period. Yeah, see y'all on the next video. Bye.